Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are diving deep into one of the most asked problem uh, in coding interview and algorithmic challenges, the unique path problem. We are going to explore three incredibly uh, solution so to this problem. So each uh, one teaching us something new about dynamic programming and combinatorial mathematics. So grab uh, a comfort seat and let's get uh, coding. So what the problem is about? We have a robot uh, situated on M times N grid starting at the uh, top left uh, corner. And uh, what we need to do uh, is uh, the robot can only move either down or uh, to the right. So uh, let's draw it. So robot can move uh, yeah, like on the grid down or uh, to the right. And uh, the objective is to get the robot to the uh, bottom right corner of the grid. Uh, what we need to find out is the number of unique path the robot can take to get there. So for example, here is one path, here is a second path, here is a third and so on. So uh, yeah. And for example, for uh, this uh, M3 N7 output is 28. So 28 different uh, path. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, dive into uh, coding. And uh, yeah, so the robot can only move down or to the right. And we will start with classic dynamic programming. All right, so uh, let's start by writing the Python code for uh, our first approach, which uses a classic two-dimensional dynamic programming uh, DP array. So uh, here we will initialize a 2D array called DP, where DP i, j store the number of unique path to reach particular cell i, j uh, from uh, cell 0, 0. And we start by setting the first row and the first column to one because there is only one way to reach those cells. So uh, it will be dp1 if uh, i0 or j0, uh, else 0 for j in range n, for i in range m, and for i in range 1 to m and for j in range 1 to n. And now we populate the rest of the array using uh, our dynamic programming formula. So it will be dp i j equals dp i minus 1 j plus dp i j minus 1. Uh, so uh, dp i j will be dp i j and dp i j minus 1. So uh, basically uh, the value of the path at i j is sum of two previous uh, paths stored. And finally we return the last cell, so it will be dp uh, minus 1 minus 1. And uh, so the time complexity of this approach is just uh, O m times n and the space complexity is also O m times n. So let's run it to verify. Uh, it's working, yeah, all good. We can submit it for unsynthesis cases uh, just to verify. Uh, yeah, all, all good. We beat 52% uh, with respect to runtime, 76 with respect to memory. So now let's uh, clean it and uh, dive into memory optimized dynamic programming. So now what uh, if I told you we can solve the problem but reduce the space complexity to just O N. So mind blowing, right? So in this approach, we are using two 1D arrays, current row and previous row. And this will help us optimize the space used by our solution. So essentially we are updating uh, current row J using the value of current row J minus one and previous row uh, J effectively uh, mimicking the behavior of 2D uh, dynamic programming array, 
but in much more space efficient uh, manner. So we still have a time complexity of OM times N, but now our space complexity has been reduced to uh, ON. So let's implement it. So current row will be one times uh, N and previous row will be one times N, one times N. And now for I in range one to M and for J in range one to N. And now current row J will be current row J minus one plus previous row at J. And now we swap. So current row will be previous row and previous row will be current row. And finally, we return previous row minus one. So last position. So let's uh, run it to verify it's also working. Hopefully, yeah, all good. And submit it for unsynthesis cases uh, to double verify. And as you can see, our implementation bit, uh, yeah, so 59% with respect to runtime. I think I have a similar implementation previously and it beat even 97%. Uh, so probably the distribution of test cases and uh, in 29 milliseconds, but uh, the code is exactly the same. So now let's dive into third approach. So first solution could be also mathematical approach. So uh, let's switch gear a bit. So did you know that you can solve this problem uh, just with simple formula? So that's right, without any loops. So using Python math library, we can directly calculate the number of unique paths with the combinatorial uh, formula. So if you are, uh, yeah, uh, common to uh, combinatorics, you can see that this problem is just a combinatoric one. And uh, yeah, so let's implement it and I will explain how fast. Math combination M, N minus two, and M1. Uh, so let's run it. And as you can see, uh, it's working. So we are using just a combinatorial uh, formula, uh, M plus N minus two, uh, and uh, M minus one. And our time complexity here is just O M or O N. And the uh, space complexity is uh, O one, so it's constant space complexity. So uh, let's submit it to verify. And yeah, so now it's uh, 38 milliseconds, but I think I get previously even 26 milliseconds for mathematical formula. And yeah, so it's quite efficient. All right, uh, so that's it for today. We have explored three fascinating ways to solve the unique path problem, each one giving us a new perspective on the problem solving strategies. So uh, which one is your favorite? Uh, let me know in the comment. And for the code in other programming languages like Go, Rust, C++ and more, uh, I will provide link in the description below. And don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more uh, awesome coding adventure and uh, future uh, machine learning uh, tutorials. And Yep, so keep practicing, happy coding, and see you in the next one.